Hi YouTube, Dave here. Uh, today I have my first ever unboxing first impressions video. I just received this guy in the mail here. Uh, so let's open it up and see what it is. Uh, this is Ed Hardy for Men, um, brought to us back in 2008 by uh, the Ed Hardy House. The perfume is Olivier Guillotine uh, with the bottle sizes of the one. Uh, one ounce can run you anywhere from 15 to roughly 35 to 1.7 from 25 to upwards of 55 depending on where you get it and the 3.4 anywhere from 50 to 75 depending this is the 1.7 ounce and it's got some you know kind of you know what that already looks like uh, unfortunately we all do um, it's kind of an interesting bottle it's a whole thing that pops off and you get just a generic long tube. Nothing too special about the bottle. Um, there should be a sticker on the bottom with I believe a four digit serial number uh, is what I'm seeing. Um, so I sprayed this on about a little hour, hour and a half ago. Uh, I've been giving it a test to see how it does. Top notes are bergamot, mandarin orange, and clary sage. Mid note is mint. And the base is amber, vanilla, and musk. First thing I thought when I sprayed this on was Lolita Lampica O Masculine with some citrus from the bergamot and the manor and orange, and a little bit of clary sage on top. I get a somewhat similar vibe to uh, O Masculine. This is a little bit more citrusy and not uh, quite as much of more of the sweet uh, body curls and o masculine type of vibe. Um, mostly it's a citrus uh, and woods musk vanilla based fragrance. I do, as it's gone on, I'm starting to get more and more of the mint, um, which has taken a little bit away from the sweet vibe of Old Masculine and more into just the citrus uh, woods and light musk. I do get a little bit of vanilla at this point. Um, I'm starting to get into the dry down, which is mostly, it still smells a little bit like Old Masculine, surprisingly. Mostly I'm getting musk, vanilla, a tiny bit of woods, mint with a little bit of citrus, but it does kind of have a similar vibe, at least to my nose, to uh, the leader of Pico's Old Masculine. Okay. Definitely get a lot more citrus in this, though. Citrus and musk, I would say, are the two big differences between this and the Lolita Lempica and Body Coros. I believe if you like those, you probably would like this. Um, most people are kind of avoiding this just because it's that hardy which I did, I tried to hold out as long as I could, but uh, I tried uh, Love and Luck, and I actually really enjoyed that fragrance, unfortunately. So I think a lot of people overlook this just because it's Ed Hardy, and I guess that's unfortunate for them because the, some of the scents are actually pretty decent. Uh, so far, I'm surprised with this. It's, it's kind of a warm, bit spicy, but it's also cool with a little bit of edge. But it's, I, I would say it's a safe and masculine fragrance. It's, so far, it's nothing super special or anything like that. It's not something that you need to run out and buy immediately. But it's, it seems so far to be a well-done fragrance. Uh, I'm going to give this some wares, and I will uh, do a full review soon. So thanks for watching, guys.